Okay, another video here. Now we're focusing on structure. You've got, if you've, you, hopefully you've gotten your opening paragraph figured out, or if you're watching this to get a big idea before going back, that's fine too. But, I mean, I would recommend watching this as many times as you need to figure out structure. So this is this video is made in mind with you already having your opening paragraph done, your thesis fleshed out with causes, actions, and effects, everything to that effect. Now, I really recommend going in this order. As the annotations say, establish context first. So you want to talk about causes first. Go in that order. Causes, actions, effects. So here I don't talk about Martin Luther King at all. I talk about, as it said in the first sentence of my thesis, the first part of my thesis, the racial injustice in the Jim Crow South. I found this stuff in my, in my research. Segregation was a problem. Black people weren't allowed to vote. Hate crimes caused terror and grief and violence in the lives of innocent black individuals. All of this stuff helps me establish the context and say, what caused Martin Luther King to do what he did? So I barely talk about Martin Luther King at all. He's in a citation here. But other than that, it's about the life of all black people, not just his. Until finally, I come here. You'll be able to read this all on your own time. I don't, I'm not going to read it out loud for you because I know that might get a little tedious, just put it nicely. But then, after establishing this context, assume my, assuming my reader does not know this information already, here I've given it to them. Segregation, right to vote, and hate crimes. Now I can talk about what did Martin Luther King do? Because if I just go, jump to the effects, it won't make any sense. What did Martin Luther King do to engage in nonviolent resistance? So I talk about who influenced him, which again comes back to my... Uh, to my attention getter, I talk about um, his own words to describe his ideology, and I talk about specifically what he did, the Montgomery bus boycott, so a form of nonviolent resistance that helped him challenge the status quo and demand change. From there, after a few paragraphs talking about that, I talk about the effects. What happened? What happened here? Well, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were passed. Landmark legislation made to protect black individuals and other racial minorities. And then, I can restate my thesis, I can restate my main ideas, and I can bring it to a close. So the big thing I'm, I'm really emphasizing here, I know I scrolled around a lot, but the big thing I want to emphasize is that you do it in order of causes, actions, and effects. Because you have got to establish this context first thing. You have got to make sure they understand what it is you're talking about. Then talk about what they did. Then talk about how that changed the world. It kind of comes full circle there. As is written in the annotations, that's there meant to help you as well. But the essay structure, it's not as simple anymore as five paragraphs. We're going beyond that a little bit. We're trying to track an idea across multiple papers, across multiple pages, one idea in order to make our thoughts coherent and complex. So for the purposes of this assignment, please make sure you're, you're emphasizing what was the problem first. Then talk about your person or group and how they challenged it. Then talk about how the world was changed because of their actions. Be sure to emphasize this, uh, be sure to use this document as much as you need in order to help you with that. Thank you.